It's baking time again, guys. It's baking time. Eric wants me to bake again, so it's baking time. Today is going to be million dollar pound cake. Million dollar pound cake. These are the ingredients. Six eggs, three cups of milk, four sticks of butter, four cups of flour, one teaspoon of almond extract, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and you can do two and a half or three cups of sugar. I'm gonna do three. And that's going to be our million dollar cake. Let's get into hey the guys, video. guys, this is Teresa. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, so we're gonna do a million dollar pound cake. Now, I did this cake um, some years ago. I don't remember how long, but it's been a minute. Um, so I really couldn't remember it, but um, I wanted to do the research behind what is a million dollar pound cake. I know it is a difference like from your basic um, like cream cheese pound cake, lemon pound cake, whatever. So million dollar pound cake, this one has milk in it. Um, so we, we're going to see um, how this turned out. Like I said, I did one a while ago. And so um, I wanted to do, do, do this one again. Blah, 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 blah. I wanted to do this one again, but I, I gotta tell y'all something so funny. So the, <laughs> so the day I was getting ready to, you know, to, to do the video, and I, all this time, baby, show them this here. All this time I've had this this mixer, y'all. I've never used this. I just thought it, you know, just came with the, you know, part of the attachments to the mixer. Well, how about I found out today? How about I found out today that this is a uh, a splash guard? This is a splash guard. You're supposed to put it, Teresa, over your uh, cake, um, you know, your bowl here, and it helps you when you put your, you know, your different ingredients in there. Well, it's my business that I didn't know, know that, but I didn't know it, y'all. Uh, I didn't know that that's what that was. Uh-uh, I didn't know, I didn't know. But I know now. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead on and put, uh, start putting the ingredients in. This is going to be an easy uh, cake. Once again, it's going to be an easy cake. We got, let me just take this off for now until I get all my ingredients in like this. Okay, so we got four sticks. This recipe calls for four sticks of butter. Okay, so we're going to get our butter in here. Go ahead on and get my sticks in. Okay, that's two sticks, three sticks here, like that, and then this is our last stick, y'all can see, four sticks of butter, now hear me and hear me well, honey, if you are dieting, my God, this is not for you, I promise you this recipe ain't for you, four sticks of butter, no. So I'm gonna, um, I always like to cream my butter a little. So we're just gonna cream this a little. I'm gonna cream that a little, okay? All right, and cream that just a little. Let me turn it up a little. And make this, I like to say, when you're creaming your butter, you just want it to look, um, I like to say like ice cream, okay? You want it to look like ice cream. Okay, so I cream it maybe about a good minute. About a good minute. And then I'm gonna put my sugar in here. Okay? Alright, so it looks like, yep, that looks like I want it. Can y'all see in there? It looks like I want it. It's all creamy. I like ice cream to me. Alright, so I'm gonna turn it down. Well, actually, I'm gonna turn it on off. And then I'm gonna just put, I don't know, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do it like I normally do it. I know this recipe is kinda different, but I'm gonna do it like I normally do. I just pour a little of my sugar in at a time like that. Mix it like that. And this, this is my version of the uh, recipe. 
Some people just pour all their butter, they pour all their butter and they pour all their sugar. I don't. I do it just like this. I put a little sugar in at a time. I try to put like a cup of sugar three times. Alright, I got one more little bit here. I'm gonna put this last little bit in of sugar. Alright, like that. And now I'm gonna turn it up to speed four on my mixer. Uh -oh. I'm gonna turn it on four and I'm gonna let that be for about five or six minutes, guys. I'm gonna let it beat for about five or six minutes, okay? What I'm doing is incorporating the butter and the sugar. I like to let it mix, because you don't want fine, you know, you don't want the grains, too much of the grains of the sugar. So I'm gonna let this mix for about five or six minutes. In the midst of it mixing, I'm gonna cut it off and stir around, you know, get my spatula here, and I'm gonna clean the sides of my, um, the size of my bowl out. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so like right now I'm gonna stop it, then I'm gonna scrape down the side of the bowl. Make sure all of this is getting incorporated in here. Okay, that's what we want, just like that. Okay, just like this. Y'all know me. I, I like to scrape all of this off of him. We want to get all of this, okay? All right, we're going to put this back down in here. Turn it back on full. And then we'll continue to mix. So I'm going to do that about five or six more minutes. And I'll get back with y'all and show you what it looks like after we, you know, mixed it all together. It's been about seven minutes that I let this mix. And, um... I just want to show it to you, show you what it looks like. That's four eggs. That's four large eggs and um, three cups of sugar. Okay, and this is what I want to show you. See how creamy, look at that, how creamy. Oh, Teresa, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It is so creamy, guys. It is so creamy. That's what you want. You want that creamy look. Can y'all see how creamy and fluffy Look at that, how creamy and fluffy that look. Okay, that's what you're looking for, all right? So let me clean down this side one time. I cleaned down this side about three times, okay? All right, and now, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put our eggs in one at a time, okay? Let's get all of this off. <laughs> Guys, I think I told y'all four eggs, no. That's what did what is what look Teresa? What did you put in here? I put in four sticks of butter. I put in four sticks of butter and three cups of sugar. That's what this is. That's why it looks so creamy and delicious. Now, what I'm gonna do, put our paddle attachment back down, and I'm gonna turn this on um four like this. And I'm gonna be, well, let me turn my eggs down till I get them in here. I'm gonna do one at a time. That's one. Turn your blender down. You what said, I say? I'm gonna turn my eggs down. Oh, we help me tonight. It's just too late. Okay, I'm gonna uh, turn the blender down. That was one egg. There's two. And we're just mixing these eggs together, incorporating them into our sugar and our butter. Okay, once I get them all in, then I'm gonna turn it up uh, to to uh, number four so it can kind of make sure they all get incorporated in there. That was four, four eggs, okay, five eggs. And look y'all, look, 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 look. I still, I'm still not using my, uh, my splash go. Boy, when you see, boy, boy. And then, so you're supposed to do it like this, Teresa. Put your last egg in it. Hey. Now I got all, got all my eggs, and I'm gonna just mix them up, combine them like that. The next step I wanna do, I wanna put my vanilla extract in. Okay. I'm gonna just, while it's doing like mixing up, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
flesh, God, Teresa, use it, girl. Use it. The cat. All this time, Lord, never use this flesh, God. Help me. Now I'm going to put in two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, okay? This is pure vanilla extract. Let's see. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons, okay? Now, this is a million dollar pound cap, okay? And they say it's million. They said once you taste it, you know how people say, Lord, that cake worth a million dollars. It's so good. So, a million dollar cake. All right, so we mixed our um, vanilla and almond extracts in there. Now what we're going to do, let me turn this down, because I'm going to put a little milk, about half of the milk, about that, not half, about a third. And then we're gonna alternate milk and flour. I've got three, four cups of milk, and the, this is um, 2% milk because we don't drink whole milk in this house. All right, so that's, I'm doing half, well, a third of the flour. Hold on, dude. Y'all can see. All right, I'm gonna do it like that. Oh no, let's clean this up. I don't do flour while I'm cooking. All right. Now we're gonna put a little bit more milk. All right. And then we're gonna put our flour in. up like that okay now I'm gonna put this last milk that's my last milk and this gonna be my last flour okay Right here. Uh, now, make sure you scrape your sides because you want to get all of your flour mixture in, okay? All right. Now we're going to turn this on four and we're going to let Sally ride. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's clean this up like this right here. The sides of my spatula, get all this off of here. Put this back down in here. Turn it on. Let me wipe my stuff down, y'all. I can't take it. All right. Wipe the side of this like this. And here we go. Okay. Now, turn it on four and let it mix. And I'm not going to let it mix too long because it's, you know, it's really done. But I'm just making sure everything's incorporated in there. And that's it for your million dollar pie. Oh, million dollar pie. For your million dollar cake. That's it. That is all your ingredients. That's everything that you need. And now we're going to get ready to put it in our cake pan. Let me get it. All right, that's it. That is it, guys. That's it. We're going to take this off of here. And we're going to get all of the goodies off. Like this right here. Now, a lot of people, they as soon as they start um, baking or start getting ready to bake, 
they go ahead on and turn their ovens on. I, I've seen that a lot, but I've never done that. The way I do it, I wait till I, to this step right here, and then I turn my oven on. I preset uh, my oven. That's how I do mine. And so what I'm gonna do now is turn my oven to 325. The recipe calls for 350, um, but I'll, you gotta know your oven. And so I'm gonna cook mine on 325. I'm gonna cook it for about an hour and 20 minutes. But at an hour and 10 minutes, I'm gonna check it, okay? I'm going to check it and see if it's done at an hour and 10. But the recipe calls for an hour and um, 20 minutes. But I will check it at an hour and 10 minutes to see what it looks like, okay? I'll show you guys. But right now what I'm going to do, spray my pan with my Baker's Joy. So that it don't stick. All right, that's done like that. And I bring this over here, and then I get make sure all these sides is, is good. And then I give it one good stir like this. Okay. Some people uh, spoon nails in. I do my cakes just like this. Y'all watching? This I do. I turn this round like that. that I just keep turning it around okay and then once I get that much in what I do shake that like that I'm gonna I gotta get another and then I clean this part off again so that I can go back in my bowl I'm trying to get everything I can out of this bowl. We want all of the goodness, all of the goodies. We want them, okay? So what I do now, see that that's in this bowl? I'm coming in here to get it. <laughs> I'm going to get y'all out of here. Every bit of you. Some people don't go in here and get these goodies, but I do. And I scoop that back up in there like that. Scoop that. I go ahead and get as much of it as I can, guys. I be trying to leave my bowl. See there? I get out as much of it as I can. I try to get it out. All right. Oops. That, uh, that goes to my vanilla. All right. So we're gonna scrape this down again. And then what I do, I get a spoon and I go around it like this right here. This is how I do. I go around it with a spoon. Okay. Now we don't want nothing like this here on the side of our thing. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna clean that up. Yes, ma'am, Teresa. We're gonna clean that up. All right. So let me get a paper towel. Let me go ahead and clean all this up. We don't want no nasty looking cake around the side. We want it to look pretty. Yes, presentation is everything. Yes, it is. Get that on out of there. Okay, that's pretty good. So, and then the next thing I do is give it a little shake, shake, shake. Dun, 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 dun. Shake, shake, shake. Then I one, two, three. And I'm going to let it sit there. And then when the timer goes off, I'm going to put it in the oven. And it, it's going to cook. Like I said, I'm going to cook it for about, well, it, the recipe calls for an hour and 20 minutes at um, 350. But I'm doing 325 um, on, for an hour and 20 minutes, but I'm going to check it. Are we still rolling? Yes, still rolling. <laughs> Put all that in there. Put it all in there. Turn the thing the right way. Oh my gosh. Auntie who, he dropped the phone on the floor. Did it in the 
Didn't know how to put it together. But anyway, we're going to put this cake, this million dollar cake in the oven for an hour and 20 minutes. We're going to check it at an hour 10 and I'll be back and show you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, getting ready to put it in. It is in. Put it on the timer. It's okay. And so in um, an hour and 10 minutes, I'm going to come back and check. All right, it's been an hour and 10 minutes. Let's see what we looking like. Oh, wow. Can y'all see that? That looks like it might just be ready. Let me just put my um, toothpick in here and see if we come out clean. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. Gotta listen. To, let's keep trying to see. Yeah, I, I think this is done, guys. Yep, it's coming out clean. It's coming out clean. Can y'all see that? That's the million dollar pound cake. That's the million dollar pound cake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, let me get my, um, you want to get a picture of that while I get my, um, I never can. Tell me what it's called, baby. You know how my memory is sometimes. Um, okay, so I got my cooling rack out. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit my cake up here and let it cool for about 20 minutes. I let it cool for about 20 minutes. Let me just move this back around over here. Neat is what it is. Just let it sit right here on the cooling rack for about about 15 minutes, maybe. About 15 minutes. Just let it cool a little bit. And then when I uh when it cools, I'm gonna come back and show you all. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna flip it out and, and cut it for you and slice it and taste a little and tell you what it tastes like. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? The coffee go with the cake. I'm trying to show them what it looked like. Oh, you're going to have a piece of coffee with your cake? No, some a cup of coffee. What I said? A some... piece of coffee. Oh, God. It's okay. Well, a, a, <laughs> a cup of coffee with this piece of cake. All right, guys. So, we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. We're getting ready to flip the cake out. Okay. This is how I flip my cake. It's been cooling for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to take it out with the cooling rack. And this is what I do. I just hit it around the sides like that. And then I, um, this middle part, I just get me a little knife and kind of go around it. Like that. Alright. Then I put my cake plate on there. this. See? Flip it over like that. There's your cake. That's a million dollar. That's your million dollar pound cake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can y'all see that? That's your cake. Okay. That's your million dollar pound cake. Let me put up, let me clean up behind myself. Let's move Ready this out piece. I want y'all to see this coming out of here. Coming up. Mmm. Still got a little smoke coming out of it. Can y'all see that? We're going to put it in here. And there's your cake. Can y'all see that? Mm, mm, mm. Look at it. Look at how moist and oh my gosh. Look at that cake. Look at that cake. Look at that cake. Look at that cake. All right, honey. Okay, I'm going to watch him. All right. 
You ready to taste test for sure. it? Looks good. I see you got that coffee. Yes, I did have, I do that. Father God, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. God, let it be nourishment for our body. I pray, God, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> it looks real good. I don't know if it, the fork is going to hold it up, all of it. See, it's breaking apart. See that? No, I don't. Oh, my goodness. It's going to break. Mm. Hmm. This is good. It is. Mm-hmm. It's, it's light. It looks like Got a little crunch to it. Sweet and good. You know. They said that's what's the key to it. It's that crunch on there along with like the velvety taste to it. Mm-hmm. Is, is it velvety like? It looks like it. I don't like know what velvety goes. tastes like, but you know, I know it's good. <laughs> Lower hair. I just know what I know. Okay. So you yeah. like it? Mm-hmm. Right. You did a very good job. Thank you, sweetie. Hey, you know, we might go into the bakery business. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right, well. <laughs> All right, we'll tell everybody bye. Well, bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this cake. Hey, you can enjoy the same cake. It's easy to make. Mm -hmm. I, I, I say that. I was there watching. I wasn't the person actually doing the cake, but my wife says it's easy to make. But we enjoy everybody. Boy, we enjoy these 488 subscribers. And if you haven't had an opportunity to subscribe, take this time right now to go in, click the like button, share, and turn on your notifications so you can be notified when we upload content. You know, until the next time, because I want to hurry up and get off and finish my cake. Let the journey continue. Peace.